Hey guys, welcome, or should I rather say good morning because it's 7 a.m. right now. I just woke up into another very beautiful day. We are slowly entering autumn here in Slovenia, but the weather is still super nice, super warm. So I just can't wait to get out in the field. Alright guys, here I am in the woods again, yay! <laughs> I uh, actually drove a bit further up into the valley in order to get a bit better view of the mountains because they are truly stunning right now in the morning and today might be the day when I finally get a good shot of them I uh, drove to about 900 meters above sea level and uh, after a bit of hiking this is my view right here it's gorgeous right? yeah I've set my camera up now and uh, the lens I'm going to be using today is a Schneider Kreuznach convertible lens I really love using this one because it's tiny, lightweight and it also offers some versatility because you can either shoot at 135mm or at 235mm There you go, my lens is now firmly attached and so is the cable release. I don't have my mechanical timer with me just yet because I'm still waiting for uh, some vintage uh, cable releases that would fit with that timer. And they were sent to me by some very kind subscribers of mine and I really thank them deeply for that. So yeah, that's gonna have to wait for a bit. Uh, but yeah, right now let's focus on this scene. The mountains are still beautiful. I will uh, take my uh, dark cloth now put it over me, uh, set my composition, set the, the focus and yeah, let's start shooting Oh well, there are some downsides of shooting early in the morning. Things can easily get fogged up. Alright, I've set my uh, focus and uh, my composition. Uh, actually, I've uh, loaded the chromographic holder with uh, two zebra glass dry plates and I've decided to make both exposures here with a bit different settings. I've uh, actually already uh, metered my exposure time and uh, I will be exposing the plates at, uh, for, at ISO 3 and at ISO 4. I, uh, I went uh, with a bit higher ISO because there is a lot of blue light present in the scene. I mean we have quite a lot of greenery in the front here as well. But the majority, majority of my composition will be the sky and the mountains. So uh, 
they are quite bright reflecting a lot of blue light that's the first thing and there is also a lot of blue light present in the shadows there so yeah I'm gonna expose it like I said ISO 3 ISO 4 uh, and then we're gonna see in the dark room what's gonna what I'm gonna be ending up with once you've set everything up and uh, inserted the holder don't forget to close your shutter before you uh, pull your dark slides out I'm now ready to take my first exposure. I've uh, pulled my dark slide out and covered the camera with my dark cloth. That's just like an extra precaution because the sun is shining in really hard. So yeah, now I'm ready to press the shutter. My exposure time for the first shot is one half of a second at f14. So yeah, let's do it. There you go, all done. Let's move to the next one. I've metered my second exposure at ISO 4, meaning I'm moving my aperture to f16, right like this. I will now uh, cock the shutter and uh, make my second exposure. I've packed everything up but I don't think I'm ready to go just yet because I will rather enjoy this beautiful view and the peacefulness of nature for another half an hour or so before I head back into the crazy world. But yeah, I had lots of fun shooting today. It was a long shoot actually. I started 7.30 in the morning and uh, right now it's half past 10 so I've spent three hours just for one scene. Obviously I had to film everything and all that. But yeah, I enjoy it. I recharged myself a bit as well. And I've also uh, tested the holder that uh, Jason have sent me. And I've made some uh, notes about the things I, I like and I don't like. So I will for sure be making a video about it, a review of it in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I will, uh, I will uh, leave you for now to, to enjoy this piece right here. And uh, catch you guys back in the dark room. See ya! All right guys, I'm back in the dark room and before I start developing the plates, I will put the whole uh, holder together with the exposed plates inside the fridge. Like this. While I'm waiting for the plates to cool down, I will prepare the processing chemicals. Like pretty much always, I will be developing in a Koda KC110 Dilution B and uh, fixing with a rapid fixer. I will be developing these zebra dry plates at uh, 21 degrees Celsius which is about 69.5 degrees Fahrenheit. For developing one or up to four dry plates I uh, usually mix up 310 milliliters of water together with uh, 10 milliliters of uh, Kodak 8C so this is the, the B solution which is 31 parts of uh, water to one part of the developer. So let's pour this one in. And uh, when it comes to fixer, I like to make quite a strong solution because the, the emulsion layer is quite thick on the plates. So a stronger solution means faster development. Usually it takes around uh, five minutes at one plus seven dilution. There you go, now I've got everything ready, my developer, water bath, fixer and my final water wash. Before I start uh, putting my fingers into this, I will uh, make sure to put some gloves on. And uh, obviously I will uh, turn off the lights here. So I don't expose uh, my plates any further.
plates are now developed and I'm really pleased with the results. So yeah, let's see what I got. The top plate right here was metered at uh, ISO 3 and developed for uh, 5 minutes, which is a standard developing time for Ziba dry plates. And the bottom one was metered at ISO 4, but overdeveloped for uh, 7 minutes. This means that if you look at the highlights here, they are pretty much equal. Don't worry, there are mountains there. I just have to lift it from the from the tray. Um, yeah, the highlights are pretty much the same, but uh, because I pushed the bottom plate a bit further in the development, the shadows had time to develop much more. You can probably not see that well on the camera, but if you look at the trunks of the trees, you can see that uh, they appear uh, much brighter on the bottom here than, than the ones on the top. So yeah, I will uh, take this out of my, uh, my uh, final wash now, dry them up and uh, digitalize them to, to show you a better comparison. These are the two shots that I made in the morning, the first one on the left and the second one on the right. They both turn out nice, but I would definitely go for the one on the right, foremost because the composition feels better as the trees on the left are not grabbing too much attention and uh, there is much more detail in the shadows. I have to address that exposures with blue sensitive dry plates where background is much brighter than the foreground, especially when you have blue skies versus dark greenery, is extremely hard to nail, but I'm happy I got it. Also with the help of uh, tweaking up the development procedure, which one should always keep in mind when out in the field. I also have to admit I had extreme difficulty digitalizing this, I am still using my phone and backlight, which is becoming more and more absurd after each shoot, especially when knowing that this fine grain emulsion of zebra dry plates holds insane amount of detail. That's why I promised myself today that even though it costs well over 800 euros, I will start saving for an 8x10 scanner right here, right now. There you go guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, if you did please don't forget to smash that like button. And I would warmly invite you to check out my Zebra store where you can find anything from uh, Zebra glass dry plates in various sizes, holders, racks all the way to lens boxes. I'm adding new products all the time pretty much. And another way of supporting this channel and my work is to become my Patreon. I really thank everybody for your support. I uh, wish everybody to stay safe and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Bye!